you ever tried modeling something from scratch like you are just starting at a blank screen trying to get a basic shape right and somehow three hours later you got this weird melted blob that barely looks like what you have imagined yeah that's me or well that was me because a few days ago i find this called messy and i swear i think it just flipped everything i tapped in a random from something like mossy green forest gloom statue and 16 seconds later it gave me four versions full 3d models textured game ready no sculpting no reproductology just pick that one you like hit refine and that's it it actually made me pause like why does this exist now not two years ago when i really needed it anyway let me show you how it's work because if you ever wasted an afternoon wrestling with blender i think you will really appreciate this so yeah the tool i use is called messy.ai it's the ai power 3d model generator and apparently it's already been used to make over 20 million models which i do not even realize at first but yeah that's kind of wild they have been even named the top ai tools for game developers by a16z which look i'm usually accepted about those titles but honestly after trying it i get it now you just give it a prompt a bit of text or an image if you want and it does the rest no sculpting no fixing broken messages no spending half an hour adjusting one vertex just click wait a few seconds and boom you got something that actually looks finished anyway in this video i'm going to walk you through how i did it step by step so you can try it for yourself or at least see if it's something that fits in your own workflow all right let's jump into it so once you have signed up and logged in you will land on the messy dashboard from here you will see a few clear options like text to 3d image to 3d ai texturing and text to image each of these take you to actual workspace depending on what you are trying to make so for now let's start with the text to 3d feature click on text to 3d and it will take you to the workspace where you type your prompt basically what you want the model to be i went with something like a stylized mossy tree monster standing in fog glowing eye fantasy style try to be specific but don't overthink it once you hit generate the ai gets to work and while it's processing you will see a little pop-up asking for your role stuff like hobbyist concept artist game designer student it's just for personalization i picked the 3d artist but you can choose whatever fits best then back to the model generation gaps now here's where the magic happens messi gives you four model previews and it happens fast like you will see this within a minute or so each one of slightly different some might be more hunched over other taller the style stays consistent too which is kind of impressive and here's a tip messi 5 really signs when you stick to organic stuff so think monster rock tree stumps statues stuff like does not need precious edge or symmetry if you try something like a building of furniture you might notice weird geometry or proportions they were still working on that side of things anyway i picked this version that looked the most interesting kind of had twist bark texture going on with moss along the arms then i clicked refine now during this phase it generates the higher quality versions it takes a bit longer just a few minutes i usually take that time to prep a snack or scroll comments when it's done you get the full 3d viewer let's walk through the what you see so first off hit the base color preview toggle it's in the top left of the 3d viewer here this show you the base texture map without lighting or shadows baked in which makes it easier to check how clean the texture really is messi 5 improved this a lot the surface layerings look smoother now more natural it does not have the plasticky look some other tool gives you rotate the model around and zoom in you will notice the texture actually wraps properly no weird seams and if you go underneath the arms or around the back there's a consistent detail for a model that come out of one sentence that's wild another thing they add proper rigging in the version you won't see right away but it's there under the hood when you export it, it comes with a full skeleton that means you are working in an unreal or unity you can literally drag this model and start animating now let's do a quick edit so i was not super happy with the eye color it's feel like a little flat so i can change that from below in the 3d window ai texture editing click that and another window will pop up in here we can draw on the texture area that needs regeneration and then enter the prompt i draw a circle around the eyes and type in glowing bubble energy eyes with moss details on eyelids hit apply wait a seconds and here it's update the model without rebuilding the whole thing we also have our original model right here as an option so if you don't want the changes then you can always switch back to the previews that's one of the best parts about this tool you don't lose process you can just irritate refine and change stuff without starting over it's fast and honestly kind of fun it's similar to adjusting a character in a video game and when it's done it gives you four models choose the one you like and click apply to the model and changes will take place to our original model in below we have remes and retexture features if you want to completely regenerate a version but keep the same vibe that's useful if you like the general shape but want to experiment with variation once everything looks good it's time to export click download and you will see a list of formats for me i usually go with dot fbx if i am sending this to unreal engine if you are doing more static rendering or just want to play with it in blender dot obj works fine too no patchy rigging no broken uvs it just works i drag the 
export into Blender and it imported cleanly. Textured where aligned mesh was solid, which is more than I can say for a lot of free generators out there. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole process from prompt to export. It took maybe five minutes total. And that's with me poking around changing things. If I just went straight to, it might win five. So if you are someone who always wanted to build models, but hated the technical side or just did not have time to learn sculpting, this is a solid shortcut, a real one, not bad, right? All right, so that's the basic flow from text prompt to finished exportable model. Now here's where I want to pause for a second because this is the part that actually surprised me. Here's why I'm genuinely impressed with Messi 5. The textured way more detailed than I expected. Like the lightning matches the geometry in a way that actually look intentional, not just slapped on. And the modeling, especially for organic stuff like creatures or rock, is clean. Not perfect, sure, but for something generated in a few clicks, it's shockingly usable. And then there's rigging. This one caught me off guard. The fact that it's sport with a full skeleton ready to animate, that's a big deal. You don't have to jump through hopes or patch anything up. Also, the remixing feature. You can keep tweaking without starting over. No need to rerun the whole model from scratch every time you change your mind. I did not expect that level of polish and I did not have to babysit anything. Just click, refine, move on. Now, if you are wondering how this fits into real box flows, here's the coolest part. If you are an indie game dev, you can use Messi to prototype creatures or props without hiding out. Drop it in engine, text it, move on, 3D printing, you got usable assets in literally minutes. Just export to STL and go. Animators, the built-in rig saves so much time. You can start blocking moving the same day you create the model. Honestly, whatever you are building, statues, fantasy prompts, stylized creatures, this tool gets you 80% of the way in 5% of the time. Alright, if you find this helpful or you're just curious as about the new wave of AI tools, go ahead and like the video and yeah, hit subscribe. I have got more walkthrough workflows and just honest text coming up. Or if you want to try Messi yourself, check the pinned comment. I dropped my personal link there plus a 30% off code if you decide to upgrade. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in this next one.